Welcome to another vlog. We are now at the Beach Club. We've got reservations at Beaches and Cream. Um, we're about an hour before our reservations. So we're going to have a wander around the Beach Club, um, take some pictures, obviously head to the, the gift shop as always because I love a good shop. And then just taking the sights and sounds of the Beach Club, um, the boardwalk, and see what else we go up to. So come on, let's go and have a look. The Beach Club is another resort I would absolutely love to stay in. It's beautiful. It smells incredible in here. Another gorgeous lobby area. We were lucky enough to come here in 2015, I think, for my sister-in-law's wedding. So at the Beach Club, they have got Cape May Cafe. Um, which is here. They do do character dining, but currently it is closed due to COVID. Outside there is their amazing swimming pool. Obviously I won't be filming properly because people are in the pool. That is shared with the yacht club and has got a giant pirate ship in the middle. Such a relaxed kind of Floridian vibe going on here. It's lovely. Of course we have to go to the shop. We're going to the marketplace. Let's have a wander around and see what they have in here. At least if you get your stroller, you can pick one up in Disney. That is a very cute Hawaiian shirt there, David. That stormtrooper pants. I do quite like that hat up there. That distressed hat. I know you're not a fan of it though. I quite like it. So similar stuff to Wilderness Lodge from yesterday. Got all the socks. Look at those alien socks. They're very cool. I like that beanie actually, that's lovely. I wish I had mini pants. They're a bit big now. I like that jumper. Like old distress type jumper. How much is that? Tell me how much it costs. $59. $59. H2O products. Our family love a game of Uno. Very tempted by the Uno Disney Parks collection. Can we get this? Lots of very cool games. And some ears. That's yeah, quite cute. I haven't seen any ears yet that stand out that I really want. But I'm absolutely loving those socks. Oh. $13. I got them in kids too. They like Crocs, but not. We've just checked in for our reservation at Beaches and Cream, just waiting for the notification. And I've just FaceTimed the kids sat from the beach club. They weren't very impressed about where we are going and what we're doing. Yeah, well, we'll bring them back next year. Not next year, six months. Right, better put my mask on and just go wait for our reservation. So we scan the QR code for the menu. So I have ordered a frozen sunshine. This looked oh, it's so cold. And David's ordered a strawberry milkshake. 
Well, that tastes really nice. I'll have to try some of David to let you know what that looks like. I did grilled cheese with soup and some tater tots. They look amazing. I'm going to take one now. Amazing. Dinner was absolutely lovely. Did you enjoy yours? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I caught him off guard that I do that to him a lot. Um, dinner was lovely. Obviously, we had the soup and um, cheese toasty, which was amazing. The soup was so creamy and so delicious. I'm not a huge fan of tomato soup, but that was incredible. Tater tots, you just can't beat them. And our drinks, I had the orange sunrise, which was amazing. And David had a strawberry milkshake, which again, was fantastic. He's been after a proper milkshake for quite a while now, so it just just hit the spot. We didn't order any um, ice creams, which was our intention to begin with, but we were far too full afterwards. Our bellies were definitely not bigger than our um, whatever the phrase is. Yeah. Anyway, it was lovely. Next time we come, I think we're just going to order ice creams. We're going to head for a wander around, to take some pictures, and maybe try and get on the Skyliner. There is the pirate ship I was talking about as part of the um, pool area. How cool is that? And then you've got this beach area here. And some people playing. Very cool. And this area here is the boardwalk. The beauty of staying at the beach club is this area up here. So that way is International Gateway and access to Epcar. How amazing would it be just to be able to stroll into the back, gate, back gates of Epcot while you're on holiday? This is cameraman in action, taking some photos in the puddles. That's how they all do it, isn't it? No, they look very good. If we take, I'll get him to insert a picture as well of one. So we're at Ant International Gateway and this is the Skyliner. Obviously most of you that will be watching this channel will know all about it already. But it's currently not running because thunderstorms in the area. So I think we're going to take a friendship boat over to Hollywood Studios and see if the Skyliner is running for the way back. So we got the friendship boats over from um, Epcot, stopped off at the boardwalk and the beach club and the Swan Dolphin and it's just taken us to Hollywood Studios. I want to go to Hollywood Studios. Yeah, July, everything's happening in July. No big park tickets for us this year, apart from Magic Kingdom. Uh, the Skyliner still isn't working because there are thunderstorms still in the area. The hope was maybe by the time we got off the bus, the bus, the boat, that the Skyliner would be working, but it isn't. So we are now taking a walk from Hollywood Studios all the way back to the boardwalk. David, I ran this route yesterday. Did you really? Yeah, he's getting that a lot. I was running on this yesterday. My hips are hurting a lot more than they are now. It's worse than Tower we're... Bridge in London. I ran over there. Yeah, if you've seen our London vlogs, you'll have heard me say the, exactly the same thing. All right, now with that bridge. I do it to wind them up though. So we've got to judge it carefully now because it looks like it's going to have to chuck it down again. Poncho's on. Well, thin bit of plastic on anyway to try and protect us a bit from the rain. Let's have a walk along this ri nice river back to Epcot on the boardwalk. Well, we got caught in a big, massive rain shower. What nice blue skies. It still looks beautiful though. Looking good there, David. Nice outfit going on. Oh. Well, you can see Spaceship Earth with the wedding pavilion over there. It's looking all beautiful. We've just come into the lobby of the um, beach club and we have got Pluto and Goofy. 
How cool is that? Looking very dapper in their 50th outfits. <laughs> Back at the car now and just like that, the sun comes out. So I bet the Skyliner is probably just opening. It was nice to see um, Pluto and Goofy just then. That was a bit of a cute meet and greet, even though if you couldn't be near them, they were still interacting with everyone, so that was really good fun. We've decided just to head straight to Disney Springs now. We were going to go home and get changed because um, we're going out for an evening meal around Disney Springs. But because we are so far away up in Universal, so 20 minutes there, 20 minutes back, it just seems pointless because I want to have a good wander around the shops. Um, and just have a good old mooch around. Yes, yeah, so that's what we're heading off to now because we're going to head off to Disney Springs and then we've got dinner, a reservation at the House of Blues. I'm still so full after my, after my lunch though, so I need to keep walking all that food off. Just arrived into Disney Springs, we're parked in the Lime Garage. Um, you get security screens before you go into the parks. We've got these fan fancy new metal detectors. Um, most of the people can just walk through unless you've got things like cameras up, um, in your bag, in which case they do stop you. Very clever how they work, but it's much, much more efficient than when you used to go into the parks before. And they screen every bag. It's kind of every second, not every second, every second person, every like five people must get stopped with their stuff in their bags, but it is a lot more efficient. But we're heading into the best shop here. World of Disney, come on. Watch your bank balance, Mr. Anderson. I mean, this is incredible. I really do not know where to start. I want it all. Doesn't surprise me in the slightest. That's really cute. I know we're in the kids section, but I like it. Oh wow, look at the air collection. Oh, I really dislike these. What are they for? Is that bondage Mickey? Ooh. Children watch this vlog, do you mind? I really don't like them. They're really bizarre ears. Don't drop them. There are lots and lots of selection of ears in here. Nothing that's particularly new apart from those leather ones to me so far. I still think they're super cute. I'd be tempted to buy them. But what I really want is a pair of animal print ones. They're from Animal Kingdom. balloon ones no I don't get these either and some Mickey waffle ears again not a huge fan just because you can doesn't mean you should so figuring out it's all divided up into sections, I think. So this section is obviously Pixar and the previous one was Mickey and Minnie. Jot that for work. That's very cute. I like that top. How much is it? It's the... 49.99. That's not a bad price actually for a hoodie in here. Lots of Toy Story stuff. <laughs> so we're heading into the 50th section. And there is obviously a lot of these going on. There are a lot of these left, David. It's the hand soap. You get the Mickey hand soap. That is a bit extra, isn't it? Oh, how pretty is that? Not sure we need another one like that though, do we?
Czasem. There is so much 50th merch still left. Whether this is just what's left, but obviously it's going to keep going for the next year, well, next few months anyway. Wow, that's a statement jacket. Now we're in the Star Wars section. Got some Star Wars ears. And a Star Wars bubble hat. Why not? I really, really like these selection of t-shirts around here. You can see them all around the wall. They're very, very cool. And then David stands in front of the way. So instead of queuing up at the huge queue over there, the cashier, you can now um, scan and go. So if you don't get the QR code, which is at different points around the, around the shop, you can do what David's doing right now and scan and go. We haven't bought as many things as we thought we might. What's the damage, David? There we go. We're scanning and going on the app. Head into the marketplace co-op. Having been in Gerard Ellie's and bought some yummy, yummy chocolate. Now, but there's lots of more stuff I want to buy in here. Let's have a look. One day, I really, I'm going to treat myself to some Disney artwork. I think if I find the piece that I really, really want, I think maybe one day I might. This up artwork is lovely. These pieces of artwork are incredible. So you've got Big Thunder Mountain, you've got Country Bear Jamboree, Swiss Family Tree House, massive Big Thunder one, and then a Space Mountain one. They are so cool. So we've just come to the House of Blues for our dining reservation. It's reservations at seven and it's now about 20 past six. We've come to the bar area where there's some live music and a drink. Cheers guys, a nice margarita. That is amazing. Cheers. quite loud down here. The food was lovely. I had jambalaya and David had a bacon barbecue burger, which was lovely as well. Um, it's so cold. It's really, really cold out here tonight. The wind's blowing. I've got shorts on. David's not even got a hoodie on. And Need it's it. freezing. 
If anyone wants to know what the weather's like in January, it's very up and down. Um, you'll quite often need a um, hoodie or trousers on during the day. Oh, sorry, at night. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry, guys. So you'll often need a hoodie on at night, especially me, and maybe trousers during the day. Very cold. Very cold. Freezes. Coming it's in not, it's not quite what you expect when you come to Florida. You come outside and expect to blast it with that heat. Because I've only ever been in summer, which is not what you expected at all. So we are back now from Disney Springs. We've had an absolutely fantastic afternoon and evening. Very, very long, very, very tired as, as always with these vlogs and when we're in Disney and Orlando, we just get super exhausted because we're doing so much. But it has just been a very nice day. Without going, to, Even without going to the parks, it has been absolutely lovely. The airboat ride this morning, the you've seen on previous vlog was brilliant. Then wandering around the boardwalk, having dinner at Beaches and Cream. Um, just that little stroll and walk and boat ride up to Hollywood Studios and back was really nice. And then going to Disney Springs where we spent lots of money. Some of the merch was a bit meh, but some of it was um, lovely. We bought some gifts. Um, yeah, we spent quite a bit of money, but never mind. And then House of Blues, as always, was exceptional. Never lets us down House of Blues. If you haven't been, you must really go to House of Blues. It's right at the far side of Disney Springs, um, up near Cirque du Soleil. It's a must do. And it's not that expensive either. It was probably about $58 for the two of us. We had the main meal and um, an alcoholic drink each. So it wasn't too pricey. Um, so that's where we're gonna leave it here for today. Um, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. Leave any comments down below. Have you ever been to the House of Blues? If you've not, you must do. Uh, where would you recommend to eat in Disney Springs? Um, ding that bell for notifications and subscribe as well if you haven't subscribed already. Tomorrow we're going to be going to Universal Studios Island of Adventure tomorrow. Uh, we've got a day ticket. Um, so come and join us for that in the next one. See you later. Bye!